Hello guys, happy Valentine's Day and surprise. I wanted to surprise you guys with some love readings this month. And um, I have Venus here. Venus is in Pisces. This is the little Venus planet. I'm sure she's a lot bigger than that, but this is Venus. This is the Venus planet and she is the goddess of love and attraction. And since she's in Pisces, you know, I just wanted to utilize my creative energy and I thought, why not? Why not um, incorporate some love readings for people? For all 12 zodiac signs, I'm going to be taking a look at our love life. I'm not sure how long these videos are going to be, but I wanted to just give you guys a little little treat, a little extra video, you know, to, to send out the Venus and Pisces love and to get the love spreading collectively. So I have this Venus here to help with that. And, um, you know, guys, it's getting closer and closer to Pisces season, and I'm really, really utilizing and tapping into these collective energies. So I wanted to surprise you. I actually made my own tarot cards that I'm going to be using. I'm going to just pull a card from each tarot deck that I have because I cannot choose which one to use. So I have two regular tarot cards, two Rider Waite tarot card decks, um, a deck that I haven't shown you guys yet. And then I have two Oracle card decks, Wisdom of the Night and Indigo Child. So I will pull, I guess that'll be about, let's see, that'll be a total of like five cards, um, but who knows what could happen. But these I'm extra excited to show you. I made my own tarot cards, so I'm going to be pulling cards from this. I, um, I made 14 of them because, you know, Valentine's Day is on the 14th. So I have seven positive cards. And just to keep things balanced and fair, because some of us might be going through some hard times when it comes to love, I have uh, seven neg more negative cards. So I guess I'll end my intro video here. I'll show them to you guys, and we'll see what comes up for you individually. But we have the happiness card here. There is happiness and harmonious energy entering your love life. And I don't know, guys. I just literally wanted to make these. I just love them so much. And I, if you guys like these, if I get good feedback on these, then I might use these, you know, monthly. I might keep these as a deck that I use. So I have self-love. Self-love. It is important that you take the time to heal before entering your next relationship. I have attraction. There is a magnetic attraction to taking place in your relationship. I have arguments. Communication errors take a toll on your relationship. I have friendship. Get to know each other before taking the relationship to the next level. I just think these are so cute. I made them last night. <laughs> I'm just feeling so creative. Um, I have passion. The flames of passion ignite and warm your relationship. And I'm like really excited to see how these are going to play in with my other tarot cards. Because you know there's always a message. Everything happens for a reason. I have heartbreak. You or a loved one is experiencing heartbreak in a relationship. I have deep conversation. There is a deep conversation that needs to take place between you and a loved one. Mm. I have secrets. Secrets play a factor in your love life. I have rekindled flame. This is a candle. You can't really see it, but a flame has been re relit in your love life with someone from the past. And I have separation. You and a loved one are experiencing time apart from each other. I have twin flame soulmate. You and this person have met before in a different life. And I have third party situation. There is a third component to the relationship. And I have forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed in your relationship now and will heal your heart. So I made these out of flashcards and I just think they're so cute. And they're pretty easy to shuffle. So, you know, I just it works the same way. I've actually given myself a couple readings from this. But these are my love cards for you guys. Woo! Deep conversation. So, yes, I will be bringing these out in my readings. And I just want to tap into that Venus energy, guys. I just wanted to do something a little special for you. And like always, I have an intro video kind of preparing you for what the reading is going to be about. But it's real light energy. I'm just going to be, you know, giving giving each sign a little bit of a reading. Now, every card that comes out, I'm going to have a conversation with Spirit. Make sure that it's for love. 
So if the tower card came out, it would be a relate I would relate it to a relationship. I don't usually do that. I don't usually give love readings, but this time for Valentine's Day, I wanted to do that. Now, I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day, but you know I love a good theme. And you know I like to keep it cool and and things like that and this is just an idea that I came up with guys and I hope that you know you you like it and that we get some good messages here so uh, I'm giving you all my love on this Valentine's Day with Venus and Pisces um, definitely tapping into that to send out all the emotional love and healing for anyone who is willing to receive it so I'm really excited to give you guys these readings today and I'm excited to see what's going on in our love lives some of you might not be that excited, you know, I'm not all the way excited, but, you know, I'm always accepting of a, of a reading from spirit. So, me and Venus are here to talk to you about your love life, and I'm really excited to see what comes up, guys. So, I hope you enjoy your readings, and I'm sending you all the love. Bye, guys. See you in your video. Hi, Gemini. This is your February love reading for Valentine's Day. And I really wanted, well, me and Venus wanted to talk to you guys about your love life, if that's okay. So we're going to be taking a deeper look into your love life. And I'm going to put Mrs. Venus, who's in Pisces. So this is my way of really spreading that Venus and Pisces love energy. So yes, guys. Um, if you didn't watch my intro video, I'm going to be using all these cards. I actually made my own tarot cards that I'm going to be using. So I did Taurus and Aries' this video, and these readings are popping. So let's just kick with it and go with it. So, Spirit, this is for Gemini. Just one card, please, for Gemini's love life only. Love only. Ooh, okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles flip over, but it flipped back over. So some of you guys have a new beginning with like a, a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn. And again, we have this um, Eight of Pentacles coming out. Bottom of the deck is Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups is peeking out too. So I think that these energies have something to do with each other. So I'm going to put that Ten of Cups there, and we have two Eights. So we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, and then this Ten of Cups. So this is all love, guys, all love. So let's just keep going here. These are my new tarot cards. I haven't really used these. Ooh, okay. All right, so we have the Page of Wands showing up. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups. So when it comes to love, I am seeing that some of you are, you know, feeling a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And honestly, it's so weird, but this card came up for Taurus and it came out reversed in the same position. So I'm not sure if some of you are, you know, Taurus or something like that. You have Taurus energy. You might want to watch that video if you're a Gemini dating a Taurus. So let's get a card here. This is the hidden energy. This is more so what's hidden in your love life or more so the, the dark energy or something like that. More so the secretive or something. But this is the wisdom of the house of night. So these energies are always kind of mysterious. So let's get a card for Gemini for February. So we have deceit. We have deceit coming out for Gemini. Let's pull one more because, oh, okay. Well, we have two cards coming out. Um, Grove and Message. So, okay, we'll do our best. And then look at on the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess of Air. So that's pretty cool. We'll put that over there. So let's get, I mean, you guys have two twins, so I can't expect to just like have really short messages for you because there's like a lot of people to read for. Them. So we have Share Your Wisdom. Taurus also got that. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have Learn Something New. Okay. I'm seeing, I'm seeing different things for Gemini's love life. This is love only, guys. Love only. Okay, so let's get you guys a card that I made for you. This is for love for Gemini. Okay, so we have heartbreak and third part of the situation coming up for you, Gemini. So, okay. But at the bottom of the deck, we have a rekindled flame. So there might be a good reason for that heartbreak and for that third party situation because there's some sort of rekindled flame for you guys. So we're going to take this from the top and just bear with me, guys. Um, this is a lot of different energy. So we had the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, but the card that flipped over for you guys is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is just love only. So I'm seeing that you guys are doing a lot of work on yourself. The Eight of Pentacles talks about, well, it's, it shows a man who's like away from home and he's literally creating his own pinnacles like he's working really hard 
And, you know, so this is you and your relationship. This is you when it comes to love matters. Some of you, if you're not in a relationship, if you have nothing to do with love and you're like, what the hell is she talking about? Well, this that's exactly what this card is saying, too, that you're more so about work right now. You're more so about getting that coin, making that money, getting your finances in order. Um, but for others of you who are in a relationship, this card is coming up because you're trying to, you're, you value your relationship a lot. And even if you're single, Gemini, and you guys value love, I'm seeing, what a secret there, you know, that you guys literally are working so hard. Um, you guys could also be working really hard at the finances in your relationship, it might be the breadwinner of your relationship. So you're spending a bit more time away from home, away from your family, away from that Ten of Cups energy so that you can be the supporter, the backbone. But I see a lot of self-work going on here. So for some of you... You're working on yourself right now, not really worried about love. You're more so worried about career. But this is not a career reading. This is love now. But that is coming up for some of you that some Geminis are just really more so about their own, you know, you just, you're working on yourself so that if, if love comes in, fine. But you're not going to like dwell over it or anything. For others of you, this is you working really hard on the finances in your relationship, trying to hold your weight, trying to get your coin up so that you can support your family and so that you can support your, your husband or wife or whatever. But whatever it is, Gemini is working really hard in their relationship. And this could be the relationship with yourself, relationship with a significant other. And then I was led to have the Ten of Cups here as well. So you guys are working really hard towards this Ten of Cups feeling. This is um, harmony in the house, on the home. So some of you are really wanting, <coughs> excuse me, this happy home life. You know, a lot of emotion, a lot of harmony and happiness. This card came out for your reading for February with me. So you might want to check that video out too. So what I see here is that you guys are working, doing the work that you, you are supposed to in your relationship. Working, doing your half of shit, holding your own weight, right? But this card was, was an intuitive card for me. So that was just coming out for some of you, I'm not sure, but here you are in your relationship, happy, or at least wanting to be. Some of you might not feel this Ten of Cups feeling yet, but you're definitely, definitely doing, you know, what you need to do. You're doing the work that you need to do on yourself and in your relationship. So we'll put that Ten of Cups right below the Eight of Pentacles. This is your, your card for sure that came out. This card popped out. And it's interesting because at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. So this is um, a rather trapped energy. This is someone who feels very blindfolded and trapped. So some of you, there's an underlying energy that if you feel, you might feel trapped in a relationship. You might feel trapped as a single person. But mentally, you know, Gemini, you guys are an air sign. And mentally, you guys are feeling pretty bound about love right now. So this is coming up for the singles. You guys might feel pretty lonely. But the thing about the Eight of Swords is that she's staying there by her own free will. You know, it's not as if these swords are completely surrounding her. She can walk away at any time. So you're staying in a place mentally. You're staying trapped in a place mentally. For some of you, there's a blindfold over you mentally. And, you know, it's causing you to just work, 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 when really there is a, a hidden, harmonious, happy feeling trying to sneak in your reading behind this Eight of Pentacles. So some of you are covering up happiness with a, with a, with a more pinnacle energy, with a more, you know, instead of emotions, you're just kind of escaping through your work. And it's interesting that I mention emotion because this lady here is not putting her feet down there in the water. So this is my card for emotional um, avoidance. You guys are mentally becoming trapped because you're not paying attention to the emotion in your relationship. And let me tell you, there is a lot of emotion in your relationship because we have the Ten of Cups. Some of you are going through a completion in the love life. You know, but, you know, you're, it's coming up that you're just kind of working towards that energy. You're working for that. So the fact that we have two eight cards, this is like, you know, you really want to ground yourself mentally and get out of that trapped position in your relationships because, you know, come on now, why would two eights show up for you? This might have a lot to do with hidden emotion. Yes, yes, because the eighth house is hidden emotion. And some of you are feeling trapped in a financial situation in your, your relationships or you're just trying to consume yourself and work when really you feel trapped mentally, okay? So this Eight of Pentacles is, is, has an underlying energy of the Eight of Swords. So I see that communication-wise, 
you know, you really want to add that emotional element into your communication with your partner or with your communication with your crush because you're just not using any of those swords to get out of this situation mentally. You know, it's kind of interesting, this Eight of Swords. This person is just standing there. And it's interesting because this person's away from home too. So we see both in these cards that you guys are away from home. So what I'm led to say is that Gemini is really working on their home environment right now. You guys want a happy home. It's interesting, these people are standing away from their home too, but at least they're there. They're about to go home. So just hold on, we're going home. That, that song just came up for me, for Gemini. Just hold on, we're going home. Ooh, I got my eye on you. You're everything that I see. I want your hard love and emotion endlessly. I can't get over you. You left your mark on me. I want your hard love and emotion endlessly. Cause you're a good girl and you know it. Ah. You act so different around me. All right. So I don't know, guys. You guys might want to listen to Going Home by Drake because, listen, I'm a Pisces and energy shows itself in many ways to me. So I don't know if any of those lyrics had something to do with your situation, but you guys are feeling a little mentally trapped. I'm seeing you're feeling trapped um, in a work situation or something. But we'll get we'll get back to that if there's any more messages. But I feel the need to move on. So now we have the Page of Wands showing up. So this is a new creative beginning in the love life. This is new passion coming in in February for Gemini. This is new ideas. You know, the Page of Wands in traditional tarot, it shows a, a man holding onto a wand. Now this person has temporarily placed their wand down there, but you see that wand glowing? Hell yeah, that's a lot of magic. That's a manifestation. So you wanna really use this creative um, feeling in February to and you got to relate this to the love life so there's certain some of you are painting a picture in your relationship so if you are single gemini pick up the paintbrush and you can paint any woman any man that you would like you know you want to envision the relationship that you want and thank the universe for it before it even arrives so i do see that you guys are really really working you know i'm feeling a lot of single energy for the Geminis, and I'm not sure why that is. And then for others of you, if you are in a relationship, then, then there's just a lot of self-work going on because here is self-work and the Eight of Pentacles is self-work and the Eight of Swords is self-work too. So I'm not sure what the meaning is there, but there's a need to creatively and passionately embrace these emotions because for the Page of Wands, that's a new passionate beginning. So for some of you, you might have a fire sign coming in, a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. There might be a new new passion there, or this might be how you feel. This is when you you really tap into that sexy energy where you're feeling good and sexy and creative and passionate on your own. Now, the energy underlying that is the Five of Cups. You know, this does a really good job at explaining the Five of Cups. Now, it's so interesting that we have these three cups over here spilled out because we do have a heartbreaking third party situation on the table. So there's a third party, there's a third component in, in your relationship. Now, I don't want you guys to freak out. It doesn't mean that there's a third person. For some of you, it could very well mean a third person. But for others of you, this is just a this is just emotion. You feeling three different ways about, you know, a certain love situation. This is you, you know, dwelling over the past, over past heartbreak. You're doing that here too. And now we see the seven of pentacles on the table. So, you know, instead of feeling trapped and bound and, and, you know, having this blindfold over your eyes, you know, you have to mentally free yourself in order to see what's growing and what's not growing. You know, you're not doing all this work, all this emotional work and all this spiritual work for no reason. So, you know, you want to be careful with this energy being um, underlying energy because this is like almost slipping into a depression. This is teetering uh, in between happiness and depression. This is why this woman is sitting out in front of the sun because she's still feeling the vitality of the sun, but she's also sitting next to these emotions here. So I see that there's a lot of emotional avoidance going on, but there's these three cups that are, have tipped over. 
So instead of focusing on those three cups in this darkness, this person's dressed in all black, she's really depressed and sad, he or she, but look next to her on the other side. There's these two of cups over there, and the two of cups it symbolizes a relationship. So for some of you, you're really sad about a third party situation when there's a two, there's a two of cups, lovers, opportunity, an emotional connection. You know, this is the past. This is the past. No need to cry over spilled milk anymore when it comes to a lover or a, someone who was cheating on you with a third party situation because there's a new love offer coming in. But you have to get out of this funk. You have to open your eyes and get out of this trapped feeling because these are two people who aren't having their head up. Even here, you don't have your head up. You're too consumed in work. So, you know, take the message that applies to you, Gemini. But that Five of Cups is behind that page of wands. So maybe it's this is new, new sparked passion that helps you get out of this. Maybe this Two of Cups relationship or this hopeful relationship attitude really sparks a creativity in you and it gets you out of that funk and then we have the queen of wands underneath that so for some of you this really is a sagittarius and you know that's your opposite sign sagittarius and then we have the judgment card underneath that look at how the judgment card looks in this deck so this is someone coming back from the past perhaps a fire sign or someone who's really passionate and there's going to be a certain decision that you have to make Okay, but be careful because we have the Five of Swords right underneath that Two of Swords. So mentally conflicted Gemini over the passions in life or over love in general. Um, so you want to, you know, feel the emotion. I know you feel, some of you feel happy, some of you feel sad. You do have those two twins. So feeling two different ways or more than one way is, is normal for Gemini, right? So let's move on to this big old message here. So we had deceit come out first. So... I didn't really know how I felt about that. We have the 38 up there. I'm not sure if 38 matters to any of you, but 8, 9, 10, 11. So this, you know, this is the 11. You really want to be careful, Gemini, because there could be deceitful people around you in your love life, affecting your love life. And this is coming up beneath the 10 of cups and beneath the 8 of pentacles. So you just want to be careful because this person is really sexy and she's really hot and she has a lot of passion with her but she's not honest and she's this might be the deceit going on in that third party situation in february some of you could um you know the truth could be revealed about a deceitful situation and that might be why those three of cups are knocked over but you're just trying to stay passionate and creative and you're just trying to still be grounded and make your own money and be independent but really you want the ten of cups really you want a happy home life and you want a you want a happy marriage and, and relationship but you're not getting that with this person some of you because they are being deceitful or you know gemini this could be coming up because you're being deceitful i'm not sure but deceit is on the table and there's also grove and message so grove is coming up as an apology this isn't a this is oh i'm sorry well it does talk a little bit about apology but this is about healing this is about healing and we have the 21 up there so i'm not sure if the number 21 matters to you guys but we have that there and we have that little kitten on the on that um stone couch so i don't know if some of you are dealing with a leo or what but i'm just going with the symbolism here so the grove comes up for people who are healing so some of you are healing from a deceit some of you are healing from a past deceitful situation and you know it's interesting that we have 21 up there because that's three so there's another third party situation that you're healing from and i'm also seeing that there's a need to communicate because you are the third house so this tells me that gemini is directly healing right now emotionally and you're doing your best to work on yourself but there's a lot of emotion here with the five of cups and with the eight of swords don't ignore the emotion but don't it's interesting because here you're like ignoring your emotion but here you're like overly focused on your emotion and i really do see the judgment card coming up a lot for you guys um so there might be you know a, a second chance coming with someone who is deceitful because they might come in and apologize for their deceit in february a lot of communication about a lot of healing i'm seeing that you can heal through communication in february with a lover or with a with a crush or something and here's another communication card Okay, we have the 45 up there, and that's the ninth house. So we have nine and three here, literally, Sagittarius and Gemini. So I don't know if you guys are dealing with a, with a Sagittarius, but this is a higher message coming in. This is also a message of healing, too. 
coming in in February and your love life. So, you know, some of you could be receiving an, a message of an apology or a message about healing or something like that. But be careful because for some of you, and, and it's up to you to figure this out because I'm even confused as the tarot reader right now. Because some of you, this message is going to come in about an apology, but there's deceit on the table. So be careful, all these messages coming in, be, be, use your discernment, use your intuition to, to be able to tell if this person's just, you know, leading you on or just trying to use you or something. But either way, there is a message coming in from the higher gods, from the higher realms, about this deceit, about this apology, about healing. So the message is to heal here, heal the deceit in your life. You know, this is a person who was deceived too. And, you know, you want to heal from that so that you can see these other cups over there that you still have. And you want to take back your passion, too. So we have Share Your Wisdom, another card that came up for Taurus. So, Gemini, you're very wise. And we have you here with these books, right? So this is Sharing Your Passionate Wisdom. This is coming up underneath the Page of Wands. So some of you, even if you're single, even if you're uh, coupled... You're coming up very wise. You have these two books here, a book for each of your twins. So a dark book, a light book, and then everything in between. And that's what makes you wise is because you have you know the story. You know, you have read the story. You know you know what's going on here. And you've read a lot. This might be the need to like a certain book that might speak to you this month. I'm not sure, but either way, this is coming up as sharing that wisdom with either a friend or a lover or something you want to share your wisdom in a loving way this month and that's coming up under the page of wands so you know to me that means that there is a new creative beginning here and you want to speak your truth and share your wisdom don't put your head down and stay stuck because this is you being mentally trapped and there's a reason why this is coming up you really want to release that blindfold and lift your head up out of this depression when it comes to love when it comes to love because in other areas Gemini is doing good but in areas like this, you know, you're in your, really in your head about things. But the universe is asking you to step out and to share your wisdom on a new passionate journey that you take with or without someone. Now, the underlying energy for that is learn something new. So it's interesting here that we have you kind of putting your feet in the water a little bit, you know. And it's interesting because what did I say about this lady? The, the thing about this card is that she is not placing her feet in the water. She is not paying attention to her emotions. She's actually blindfolding herself to certain feelings, which is ultimately trapping her mentally and physically. So in order to break free from those binds, you really want to put your feet in the water. Like, I have to hold these two cards up together so you can choose the energy. If you want to stay in your head about a situation, then by all means, you have free will. But look at this person. She has removed the binds she has spread her wings and now she's trying something new learning something new putting her feet so emotions are a little bit new for you guys but this is pisces season you know this is coming in so you know this is like trying something new when it comes to emotional connections with other people learn something new about your relationship share your your wisdom in your relationship you know Learn something new about this relationship, especially about the emotions of it. You know, don't be so stuck in your head about it, Gemini, because nobody's asking you to dive all the way in. But look, she's keeping one foot on the ground. So this is like the star card or something. I don't know if some of you are Aquarius related or something like that. But, you know, you want to learn something new by just trying something. You know, when you're when you're about to get into a pool, that's what this girl's doing. And she's just kind of testing the waters out. So test the waters. And, you know, when it comes to a relationship, testing the waters might mean going out on dates, communicating with people, socializing, you know, um, weighing out your options. But don't be afraid to dip a toe. Just dip a toe. <laughs> I don't know if some of you watch um, American Dad, but did it did it dip a toe, did it dip your toe. Like, literally, that's another song for you guys to look up. It's so hilarious. Um, it's by Gnarls Barkley. And there's this whole episode about a hot tub on American Dad, and it's just so funny because there's literally a song called Dip a Toe, like literally. So you guys might be, um, as far as that message goes, you guys could be persuaded by someone new this month to di -di 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 dip a toe, you know, and try something new, learn something new. So that's coming up as share your wisdom. Now, that's interesting because if you, when you learn something new, you really want to share your wisdom about this new thing that you've learned, okay? So that's going hand in hand there. Learn something new and share your wisdom. 
Now, I don't know why I skipped ahead and I forgot to tell you the underlying energy for this message and for this deceit because remember we have the high priestess of air. And that is literally your guys' energy. Like this is an air energy, this is communication. So as far as that uh, message goes, there is a message coming in. And it, and I don't know if it's a deceitful message or if it's a message about deceit. It really depends on the kind of Gemini you're, you are or what you're going through. But this is all about communication and intellect. This is the high priestess of air. So there's a lot of different high priestesses in this deck. And she's the one that focuses on communication and intellect. So as long as you're using the high priestess of air, then you're going to know about this deceit happening. You're going to know about this um, healing that needs to take place with this deceit. But I do see that there's a message of communication, an intellectual message. This might be, you know, you when you're sharing your wisdom, but this is the number six up there as well. So that's the Virgo house. So this is the lifestyle. So you make sure you're just living an intellectual lifestyle and that you're, you know, grounding yourself in, in, in your communication and in your, your mind, you know. And, you know, that energy comes beneath the, the Eight of Swords. So as long as you're remaining intellectual, about these energies then you should be fine you should know this deceit you'll know the healing you'll know the message when it when it comes so as far as the energies that i pulled for you with my tarot cards we have heartbreak and third party situation you or a loved one are experiencing heartbreak in the relationship and there is a third component in your relationship and this is a third component that is rather heartbreaking this is very clear here that there's a third party heartbreaking situation like this is the three of swords this is the Three of Swords together. Um, so some of you are really dealing with betrayal and deceit in the love department. And you're really trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. And, you know, this third component might be emotion. You might be feeling three different ways. You might be de dating or dealing with three different people. You might be dealing with a person who has a lot of options and they're making you feel like a third wheel. But you're feeling there's a third component. So this could be you. For some of you, it's you, your relationship, and work. Okay, so you see what I mean there? It doesn't have to be a third party situation. It literally means that there's a third component. So it doesn't have to be three people. It could be you, you, your lover, and your work. Could Work could be interfering. Or it could be you, your lover, and a child. Because I see here that there are children over here playing. You really just want a happy home right and for some reason this is coming up as oh like you're really working towards that you know but some of you might be dealing with heartbreak in the home or emotional heartbreak with a child situation or a third party situation something now the underlying energy for that gemini is a rekindled flame so a flame has been rekindled and relit in your love life with someone from the past so it was interesting that we had that energy and then we have the judgment card, okay? Because you're being called to a second chance with someone. And this is really going to conflict you mentally, I see, with this two of swords there. So you want to be careful because we have the, six, the, the five of swords underneath that, which is a betraying, deceitful energy as well. And, you know, we're going back to the five of cups here. So rekindled flame. Some of you might have someone coming back from the past, and that might be the third-party situation that results in heartbreak. So it might not be you that's heartbroken, Gemini. This could be you breaking the heart of someone else because there's someone coming back from your past, and the flame is going to be rekindled this month in February. So I don't know if that's your heartbroken or maybe, you know, the person that's coming back from the past, this might be why there's a, there's a message of healing here, you know. Maybe they deceived you in the past. And they're coming back to apologize about that. And there's a, they send you a message, a text message or an email or something. And that flame is rekindled, baby. Rekindled flame. Okay? And this is someone from your past returning, Gemini. And I think that is going to really involve a third-party situation in a Three of Swords type of situation. And you see it says, you or a loved one is experiencing heartbreak in the relationship. So it depends. If it's you or the other person, I'm not sure. But there's some pieces here. There's a puzzle here. You know, share your wisdom, Gemini, and put these pieces of the puzzle together so that you're not played as a fool. So that you're not stuck in that Five of Cups, uh, Eight of Swords energy, okay? So... That was your reading for February. Very, very fun doing these love readings. Um, I don't usually do love readings, but it's really fun. 
and I hope that was relatable and helpful to you guys. And that's all I have for now. But if you like these readings, let me know. Leave me a comment. Like, like my videos so that I know that this is getting good feedback. And I might make it, um, make it a thing and do this, you know, every month. So, okay, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.